Over the years, gymnastics routines have become very formulaic and even predictable. Most gymnasts perform the same range of skills, and the code of points doesn't exactly promote diversity and originality. Whether it doesn't fit properly in the composition, the actual reward is pretty much non-existent, or the likelihood of large deductions is high, the reasons for the lack of variety are diverse. In this video, we'll take a look at five rare balance beam sideward acrobatic elements. The two-sec consists of a flick flack with step out from side position and is rated D in the 2022 code. It's named after Canadian gymnast Yvonne Toussec, who submitted it at the 1999 World Championships. Dance elements from a side position were popular during the 2017 quad, but unfortunately the same cannot be stated about acrobatic ones. Spanish gymnast Silvia Colusi submitted this element at the 2013 World Championships, and around the same time, former UCLA gymnast Danusha Francis was also performing it in NCAA competitions. It consists of a free aerial cartwheel in a side position and carries an E rating. However, gymnasts can get the same points from connecting a regular aerial cartwheel to a dance element, which is less risky and much easier to nail. The Schaefer Salto on the balance beam was officially added to the code in 2014, after German gymnast Pauline Schaefer successfully submitted it at Worlds. It's described as a sideward salto in a tucked position with a half turn, with takeoff from one leg to side stand. The technical committee gave it an E rating, even though many believe it deserved a higher one. On top of being extremely difficult to link to other skills to generate connection bonus, it has a blind sideward landing. As of 2022, the Schaefer has only been performed in competition by its creator, and given the current rating, don't expect to see many gymnasts attempting it anytime soon. In a similar situation regarding its difficulty and likelihood of seeing it in competition is the Teza 1. Submitted at the 1997 World Championships by French gymnast Elvire Teza, this E-rated skill consists of a back handspring from side position with a full twist to an immediate hip circle backward. The twist mid-air makes it much more difficult to execute with the proper form. We haven't seen it performed for over 20 years. Hip circles on beam used to be more popular in the 90s and early 2000s. But since the new scoring format was introduced in 2006, they went completely out of style. This element is actually not in the code of points yet. It was submitted by Tisha Volemon at the 2021 European Championships, but the Dutch gymnast fell on it during qualifications. It consists of a salto forward tucked from side position with takeoff from one leg to stand on both feet. Even though it's not the most aesthetically pleasing element, it might enter the code in the next couple of years with a D or E rating. What's your favorite element off this list? <laughs> 